site of T-Mobile Arena where the biggest fight in history could be taking place within about 24 hours. We did see the weigh-in just a few hours ago, and this is what happened. Now, to give you a backstory, some controversy going into this because Floyd Mayweather had accused Conor McGregor of essentially cheating uh, to make the weight cut by using IV bags to rehydrate himself. That would be illegal, but that's now behind us as Conor McGregor did make weight. He came in at 153 pounds, the one under the 154 weight limit. Um, Mayweather, though, came in at 149.5 pounds, far lighter than expected. He had several pounds to give. That led McGregor to actually mock him by saying he looked weak and out of shape. Um, Mayweather countered by saying weight doesn't win fights. Many say the groundwork was laid in the 1970s when Muhammad Ali actually uh, fought against Antonio Inoki, the Japanese wrestler. That turned out to be a very bizarre match that ended in a draw. In fact, Inoki spent most of the time on the ground um, kicking Ali's legs and Ali couldn't hit him. Um, that actually caused long-term damage to Ali's legs and it was called a, caused a draw. And now in about 2010, UFC fighter Randy Couture took on um, James Tony, a former boxing champion uh, in the mixed martial arts uh, event. That didn't last long, about a, less than a round when Couture took him down and submitted him. Uh, Tony had no idea what he was doing in that event. This is kind of the reverse because McGregor is going into Floyd Mayweather's arena, the boxing. It's all under boxing rules. He's taking it very seriously. So, But at least in this case, uh, McGregor is known as a stand-up fighter. He knocks people out with more regularity than Floyd Mayweather, who's known much more as a defensive fighter. So people still believe that he has at least a puncher's chance.